guys, welcome back to another video, The Real King Tao here, and today I will be showing you an easy way how you could import piggy sound effects and piggy audios into your build mode maps. So basically, let's get started. So this method is actually pretty easy. You could get over a hundred sound effects in just a second into your piggy build mode and find basically anything you need. Now, the first step is you're gonna wanna go to this um, Google Sites. All right, so how this website works is actually pretty easy. So you go onto this website uh, it's called Piggy Build Mode Guide, and you will find two objects called uh, Sound Effect IDs and Soundtrack IDs. Now, this website link will be in the description just in case you guys are wondering, but yes. So now, which one you want to pick is pretty simple. If you want a sound effect, you click on the sound effect. If you want a soundtrack, you click on the soundtrack. So for this video, I'll be doing sound effect first. So you would click on sound effect, and boom, we have a bunch list full of sound effects that you could use for your um, piggy build mode. So how this works is actually pretty easy. Now we have all the IDs on the side. Now let's say we want the fire extinguish sound effect. We will just um, select all these digits, then control, copy, or not control, sorry, you could right click copy. Now we have the ID copied, this is the ID. And now if we go back to Roblox, as you can see, I just placed a sound block here. You could do any uh, thing that has a sound ID that it can use. So we're gonna just copy and paste. We could press um, control V on your keyboard, or if you're on mobile, right click, then there's a little paste button. And we will have our ID right here of the fire extinguisher sound effect. We change the pitch, let's just keep it normal and confirm. And now our sound effect should be working pretty well. Let's test it out. So let's load in the game and let's turn up the volume real quick to see if this is working. As you can see, sounds like a fire extinguisher to me. Yep, the sound effect is not working. Now if we go far away, let's just say, go up close. That's where the sound block is. Yep, it's playing that sound effect really loud. You can change the settings in the sound block to do whatever. Now if I jump off, it slowly fades away. Yep, so as you can see, this is working. The sound effect is working pretty well. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys knew how to do that, but just in case, just in case you didn't, you go into here, change the sound ID to whatever the website said or whichever sound effect you picked. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can change the pitch and anything. Also, I just noticed, do you guys see that right there? I'll zoom into it, but that's like a picture of like an OG Roblox character. I never noticed that, that it had those little, it's only in one angle. You see that little spawn? So if I like change right here, it's like gone. I never noticed that. That's actually, that's interesting. Now for the second part of this video, we are going to be checking out the sound effects. Now you guys can, I don't know, I mean soundtrack, sorry about that. So we have a bunch of sound effects that are in the cutscenes. This um, includes, disclaimer, any IDs, not by APM, will not work outside of piggies. So basically, if um, any IDs that are by Roblox, you could put in Roblox Studio too. For example, Hopeless Case, The Metro, that is a Roblox owned audio. So you could put it inside of, um, inside of uh, Roblox Studio to use, but anything else that is not, that is by like custom made, custom uploaded by the creator of Piggy, you're gonna have to use it in build mode, it won't work. But anyways, as you guys can see, we'll just pick a sound effect. We got the book two chapters, book one, separated. We can do any of the sound effects, we can do the Piggy for you to stay. Let's actually try that one. Let's try the for you to stay. We copy the ID, by the way, copy. Um, by the way, guys, you can pick any one you want. So pick any sound effect, soundtrack you want, and we'll just copy, delete your old one, and replace it, confirm, and it should be working. Let's play. And as you can see, I'm not even in. Yep, the OG piggy. You could create old maps, create like plant inside of build mode with this music. Works pretty well. It's basically the best thing you got. It's the easy way. It's just a whole list. I'm gonna end this music so I don't get copyrighted or anything, but basically that is it. Now, if you guys have any questions, you guys can um, comment below, or if you guys have any trouble, um, you guys can just tell me. So basically, you know, you just take the ID, copy it, and yeah. So a cool thing about this, I'm just gonna throw this in before I end the video. If you go to audio, let's go right here, marketplace, audio. Just go to a random audio real quick. I know this is not necessary, but I'm just showing you. So let's take the um, the Tiger theme song. I think that's what that is. So let's paste it in, and you could actually see the soundtrack by Minitune. It's actually so the Tiger soundtrack in like his theme for the um, 
for the uniform version actually is named Eerie 2. And so this soundtrack plays in the actual Piggy. And yeah, no, created November 1st. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see how it's made the real sound. And yeah. So anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the description. I will be able to answer some of them. And yeah, so make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't for more helpful piggy tips. And I will see you guys in the next video. The real King Tao out. King out. <laughs>